Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got a Belgium strong beer, or an extra strong beer as it's labelled on the back. And this is one from Duvel. And this is the first Duvel beer that I'm actually drinking in quite a long time. I think the last time I drank um, like a regular Duvel was way before I was even really into you know drinking proper real ales and craft beers, that sort of thing. Um, I think somebody else, a family member or something like that may have made me try this or something like that or I had a sip of it. Can't really remember too much. But uh, yeah, this one looks very special indeed and it's the limited edition Triple Hop 2015. Uh, clocking in at 9.5% and it uses the Sans Sans, is that? Uh, hop Styrian Golding, which I'm sure is used in a lot of uh, British ales, if I'm not mistaken. And then it's dry hopped with Equinox. And uh, yeah, in a cute little stubby bottle. And um, yeah, first Duval review on the channel. Hopefully it might not be you know the last. And I don't usually read the back because it has got tasting notes, but... With a beer like this that I'm not too familiar with, um, it's just good for my own you know, palate development, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, thanks to the third additional hop variety, Equinox, our 2015 selection is characterised with the aroma of grapefruit, lemon and a hint of fresh green pepper. And uh, yeah, not too sure what the difference is between this one and last year's one. Uh, maybe they used a different hop. I'm not too sure. I have been told by a few of my fellow beer tubers like um, Tony Howard that this is a pretty damn good beer. So I'm very excited. So as you can see, the bottle is already opened. And there is the crown, which a keeper for sure. And the label's nice as well. So I might keep that too, because I'm sad like that. But yeah, beer is already poured in the glass. I haven't tasted it yet. I did smell it, um, but I, you know, true to form, uh, I failed on the first attempt at reviewing this beer. So beer is all in the glass, and it's actually a hell of a lot hazier than when I first poured it. Uh, that being said, I, you know, I had about that much worth of head in there, so. I shook the rest of the bottle up because I'm not sure if it is. I, I'm guessing it's got some sort of conditioning in there and poured it in. And uh, yeah, that reminds me of like a, a nice, like almost a pale honey sort of colour. Uh, you cannot see through that at all. It's a nice golden, slight orangey hues to it. Very, very hazy. In fact, it looks like you know, a solid block of colour, especially on camera. And the beer, as it stands now, has about one finger's worth of very fluffy, very foamy white head. And, uh, yeah, it looks nice. It almost looks like it's been illuminated from somewhere on the camera. But anyway, on the aroma. And I'm instantly hit with those lemon and grapefruit aromas. The hops are really coming through. I'm getting almost like a, a salad leaf or maybe a herb in there as well. Nothing too harsh, nothing too peppery. Maybe a slight hint of parsley or something like that. But there's a sweetness as well, like a, a candied sugar sort of aroma. And it's not a boozy smelling beer. But when you really go in, it's almost got like a, a slight sweet liqueur sort of aroma as well. Really, really nice, actually. Um, it's really nice and subtle, nicely balanced, nothing too overpowering on the aroma. It's a really nice, mature smelling beer. So anyway, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Ooh. It tastes a lot different to what it smells. And it's got a... It's not a sourness. But it's like 
it's it's bitter it's got a bitter flavor it leaves your mouth very dry and it's like you know almost making you well how could it make your mouth dry if it makes you almost you know saliva you know what i mean it, you know you want it's like it's very hard to describe it's like an instant sap and then it's gone slight alcohol warmth going down uh nothing too subtle um all in all the alcohol is really nicely balanced very pleasant drink indeed but flavor wise definitely get like a lemony sort of flavor <laughs> it's a little bit citrusy obviously tart that's the word i was looking for it's got it, it's got a tart feeling to it tartness would that be the proper term but yeah this is sherbetty sourness comes in not too sweet, not too sour, not too herby. Uh, it said with a hint of... I was not getting the green pepper on the aroma. It wasn't really that peppery. But then again, I'm not really too familiar with green pepper. But that being said, on the flavour, there is a spiciness to it. There is a pepperiness to it. There's a herbiness to it. Something along the lines of uh, maybe uh, a coriander. But it's really nicely done. Um, I haven't drank too many Belgium Strong Ales. But this is definitely one of the, the nice ones. And on the... It's going to sound nasty. But on that little burp, I got that alcohol... Again, it's got like a spirit-like quality to it, or a liqueur-like quality. But as a drink in itself, very high quality beer indeed. Yeah, I, I really, really like that actually. It's not something that I could drink, well obviously it's 9.5%. It's not something that I drink a lot of. But every now and then, if you want wanted something a little bit special, then this really does tick the boxes. Um, but I can't really go too much into detail about it because I'm really I'm quite unfamiliar with the style. And it's got it. It reminds me, even though I recently re-uploaded on this channel, the uh, Faro Lambic. Like the tartness from that, I'm getting in here, but I think you get that a lot with uh, Belgium beers of this sort anyway. But yeah, it's a damn good little beer. Um, it's not, it wouldn't become one of my go-to beers, but I'd definitely be interested to see what the 2016 version's like. I'd happily try some of the other Duvel ranges uh, of the beers. I know they do a nice IPA. Um, someone was saying that they described this almost as an IPA. I'm not really getting that. Aside from that, like, grapefruit on the aroma and the bitter hops in the... Not too much like an IPA. Definitely got those Belgium characteristics. And, yeah, it's a really good little beer, actually. The bitterness isn't as sharp as the, the beer gets a little bit close to room temperature. So it, it's a really nice and smooth beer um, in all regards. And I'm sure <clears throat> the longer it takes me to drink it, I'll be picking up different characteristics that will be different to what it was like 10, 20, 30 minutes previously. So it's a complex beer, but it's not, you know, doing anything weird to the palate. Um, I'd probably be able to appreciate this a hell of a lot better if I was a bit more familiar to the style. So I am going to be fair with my rating. And uh, yeah, out of 10, I don't know, it could be a 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's a 9 out of 10. 
Um, even though there are things I am probably missing in there and aren't really picking up on. But it's a 9 out of 10 from me. Very, very, very high quality. Um, I can definitely see why Duval has the reputation that they have and why, you know, Belgian beers and Belgian strong ales are loved throughout, you know, the beer drinking community. And this is a very high quality example of that. So that was Duval's limited edition triple hop 2015. Really nice beer, 9 out of 10. If you want to find out more about Duval and the other beers that they do, links will be down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Uh, let me know if you've tried this beer as well. What did you get out of it? What's your favourite Duval beer? What are some of the previous um, incarnations of this specific type of beer, the Triple Hop? Uh, what's been your favourite? Did you like it? Didn't you like it? And uh, yeah, just hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more beer reviews. And speaking of which, I hope you'll join me for the next one. So yeah, a damn good beer. I'm going to enjoy drinking the rest of this. And I shall hopefully see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Cheers.